Hello, I'm Andrew, a cameraman in Queensland. Um, I was here uh, trying to represent the crew and, and give an indication to the producers that uh, the wages of the crew haven't gone up in the last 20 years or probably even more, and that it's now becoming quite difficult to sustain a, a career in this business. Um, and uh, also I tried to point out the fact that it's getting difficult to get experienced crew in this business because they're all leaving to go elsewhere or into other industries completely. So I'm worried about the future of our industry and the maintaining the quality that we've, that we've risen to now uh, with our wages meeting that same level. Joe. <laughs> 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 Uh, hi, I'm Joe, uh, the unit from Victoria. Um, yeah, I think we got across the case that the rates that are in the agreement now are unrealistic and a bit of an insult um, to professional film crew. Um, and I just said from my personal experience, I was working on Friday getting 25 bucks an hour. Um, and that's a fair bit more than what's in the agreement. Um, but it's not a lot of money. Um, so. Just to have that $25 an hour as a unit assistant um, enshrined in the agreement would be a nice nice starting point. Um, and yeah, I mean, <coughs> they were pretty keen to talk about this. The, um, the problems that they're facing with budgets and the changing industry, and we're very sympathetic to that. Um, but I think the first step, if, the, if uh, the union and crew are gonna work with producers to, um, improve the industry in Australia is we need a little bit of respect shown um, for our livelihoods um, and that's what we're trying to do with the Get Real on Rates campaign. Wingit. Hi, I'm Danielle. I work in costume in Sydney. Um, I put forward today that I was really worried about the, the amount of people that would have to train constantly in the costume department. Um, in the 10 years that I've worked in costume, I've certainly seen a lot of people um, enter the industry and we train them up. And then because of the wages, they leave and we're constantly retraining people. I think it's um, a really big issue for everyone, probably in all departments. I'm Wendy from New South Wales, makeup and hair designer, the hair department mostly on the film drama and commercials. I work across uh, all parts of the industry done for over 30 years. Um, my rates uh, have not changed since the mid 80s, even though uh, basically everything has gone up. It's very hard to find crew, new crew to train people to be skilled professionals who want to work in the industry. Most young people aren't interested in the industry. The hours are too long, the money's not that good. Um, and basically, it's a seasonal industry. There's not work all year round. So unless uh, our rates are realistic, we actually can't sustain ourselves as professionals in the industry. And uh, so hi, I'm Roberto. I'm from uh, Adelaide. I'm a gaffer there. Uh, so glad to say that the producers were receptive to listen to our case about the market rates. Hopefully we can get those across so I don't have to mow lawns to maintain a living and still work in the industry. Uh, and also just to also encourage young people that there is, or new people to the industry, that, uh, that there will be some decent reward for your work and effort put into the industry. Well, I think we put uh, a very strong and uh, quite detailed um, message to producers about why this issue is so important based on the experiences of the people in the room. Um, but during that meeting, the representatives of SPA were looking at your faces. Um, as you can see, these are up all around the room. We have 500 of them that we've got over, over the course of a few weeks. Um, so the message uh, came through very strongly that this issue needs to be addressed. Um, even though um, it was, you know, there was plenty of notice given to SPA about um, what we wanted to talk about today, they didn't have a um, firm answer for us on the rates. Um, so they have committed to come back in six weeks with a response on what they uh, feel is appropriate um, in terms of the market rates being in the SBCA. Um, so
So as far as we know, that could be a flat no, uh, or it could be um, some other model. So we'll just have to wait and see what they come up with. In the meantime, if we want to have market rates re uh, recognised in the NPCA, we are going to have to continue the campaign to make sure it's a good outcome for crew. So um, we will see you out on set to talk about the next steps.